Chair, uh, Professor Nagosi, for her comments. I think she will uh, wrap up. Okay, she will be coming at the end. No problem. Okay. Yeah. That, that is the format. Okay, right. So we will move on to our next presenter, uh, Dr. Sahidul Islam, who is an Associate Professor, Department of Geography and Environmental Studies, University of Chittagong. And over to you, uh, Dr. Sa uh, Sahidul. And uh, he'll be talking about challenges in protected areas management. Uh, we are doc dear Dr. Mita, we are Pradeep Mita and uh, Dr. Uh, Negoji. <clears throat> uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am Dr. Shohid Islam from Bangladesh. Uh, 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 it's my pleasure that uh, uh, I, ha I got opportunity to sh uh, share a lecture uh, in summer school mountain ecosystem and resource management. <clears throat> Uh, uh, I would uh, give a lecture on challenges in protected areas. Uh, I am, uh, I already mentioned my name. I am uh, affiliated as associate, uh, associate professor in Department of Geography and Environmental Studies uh, in University of Chittagong. Uh, here I have my detailed information and my research area is uh, mainly land cover simulation uh, and monitoring our modeling for prediction. Uh, I normally work with uh, remote sensing GIS uh, <clears throat> and uh, uh, recently I have completed my PhD degree from uh, in uh, physical geography from uh, School of Geographical Sciences at uh, Southwest University, <coughs> China. Uh, here, I would uh, introduce my uh, affiliated university. Uh, it's, uh, uh, we are very much happy that uh, recently we have uh, completed a MOU partnership with uh, Grassroot Institute. And uh, my university is the largest university in my country. Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, there have a, a beautiful scenery with uh, in a, a mountain eco environment, uh, and we normally uh, uh, build our university and also master plan in a, a sustainable uh, environment. Our university have uh, there have many wild animals. Uh, <clears throat> however. Uh, I'm coming my uh, lecture. My, I would uh, lecture on challenges uh, in protected areas. So my uh, content will cover the concept and purposes uh, of challenges areas and uh, IUC and protected areas. Uh, thereafter, the challenges, uh, the several challenges, global status challenge, global uh, climate change challenge, establishing new protected area challenge, effective governance and management challenge. And uh, however, multi-bucket challenges that therefore critical uh, some of my research and evaluation uh, therefore recommendation. <clears throat> and first uh, I would introduce the uh, protected area. Uh, the protected area uh, is uh, according to the IUCN definition, there have uh, covered the geographical space um, must have uh, recognized why we are building the pro protected area. Uh, it have a dedication, uh, therefore it would be managed and uh, there must have the legal or other effective means. And uh, uh, generally protected area is uh, uh, built up for a long-term conservation, uh, uh, nature, uh, uh, that is ecosystem sustainability, associated ecosystem service, and however cultural values. <clears throat> Why we build the protected areas? The, uh, we build the protected areas to discovery the, of romantic in nature, the scientific exploration of the natural world, revolution at the destruction of some wild species. However, uh, if we build a protected area or we can uh, give a biodiversity conservation, uh, therefore locals, people, uh, livelihood, uh, 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 however, provided services that is food, clean water supply, medicine, 
and also the protection from disaster like natural disaster mitigation, mitigate and adapt to climate sense stores at least 15% carbon. As you know, my country, uh, Bangladesh is a disaster prone country. Uh, it's uh, situated in the tropical zone where frequently start uh, cyclonic disaster and storm surges and we normally protected it from the nature which we call the green belt. <clears throat> However, uh, in uh, IUCN uh, uh, protected areas, uh, I'm giving the introduction about the protected areas because uh, mainly I will discuss the challenges, but uh, I would like to uh, introduce some uh, small uh, explanation about the protected areas. Uh, however, IUCN categorized the protected areas into uh, six major classification. Uh, however, uh, first classification is into two types. The, that's why the total classification is seven. The first category, category uh, one, uh, 1A, that is uh, strict nature reserve and category 1B, wilderness uh, areas. Those two are almost same, but they have uh, something little different. Uh, uh, Therefore, uh, category two is national park, category three, national uh, natural momentum or features, category four, habitat or uh, species management area. Therefore, category five, protected landscapes. And the sixth one is a protected area with sustainable use of natural resources. <clears throat> However, uh, IUCN, the first category, strict nature reserve. Uh, it's uh, clearly defined that strictly there have the nature must be reserved. Uh, there uh, no disturb to the nature and uh, it must have uh, a specialized boundary that there uh, uh, no destruction of nature. <clears throat> Uh, category uh, 1B, that is wilderness area, that is uh, there have the wild uh, animals uh, which are not disturbed uh, from the people or others uh, and into fully uh, as like as the first category. Uh, there have the nature reserve are, and uh, here is the strict wildness reserve. <clears throat> And category two is a, a national park where some areas which is uh, uh, highly have heritage and there have uh, uh, many other uh, uh, ancient uh, records. So uh, those areas have a restricted boundary and uh, this type of category is called the na national park. <clears throat> and also that uh, national park is also the uh, tourism uh, activity there for and uh, the third category is national momentum or feature and uh, some structures which have the national momentum that is ancient history like uh, mm, uh, in Misha there uh, Egypt uh, we see the pyramids uh, that are the natural resources uh, and uh, like in China there have uh, the uh, great wall uh, it's a natural heritage <clears throat> And uh, the fourth one is habitat or species management. Some species there have uh, the uh, a risk to um, destroy. They are going to, uh, uh, they are in vulnerable situation. Those type of resources are protected in the, this type of uh, 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 yeah, uh, categories. Therefore, protected landscape or seascape, this area is uh, something larger area uh, where there have some restriction. Like in our country, there have the areas where the our national fish, uh, Hilcha, is uh, uh, give their, uh, uh, live uh, uh, there and uh, we always protected them in their uh, breeding time in their breeding time, we always uh, restricted to catch the fish there. Like this type of area is a large area, but uh, there have some restriction. This are protected landscape or seascape. And the last one is protected areas with sustainable resources, natural resources. It's also a big area. And uh, there have some uh, uh, protect, uh, protected some pl uh, plants like you cannot cut this or you cannot change this shape or if you can develop anything, you have to sustainable use of natural resources. 
However, uh, I'm coming my uh, lecture key points are the challenges. <clears throat> The first challenge is the, uh, there have several challenges in environment to uh, 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 manage the protected area. The first challenge is which is global status and spatial delineation. The globe uh, is continuously changing, uh, 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 especially the landscape changing, especially the nature changing, the climate changing, and however the population changing. So all type of changing, and the current status, how can we protect uh, the environment or ecosystem sustainability in the nature? Uh, uh, so the, uh, there have several challenges. Uh, the most challenges we always expect, the population challenges, population pressure, the high rate of, uh, uh, if you see that the, the last, the, uh, this uh, global art, here have the global distribution of protected areas that there we see that protected areas is only situated in the area where have the low density or no people there we can protect but there have so many population we cannot protect uh, anything we cannot give a protected area however uh, so the global present status and uh, this is a big challenge and also in global climate sense temperature rise if we see the temperature has already rises then we have to build the planning or the future management based on that temperature we cannot go back temperature go to 20 years back we cannot go there so those are the challenges <clears throat> therefore the global status and special delineation that uh, also have challenges in uh, in several areas, the naturalness and IUC and protected areas, you see the uh, the degree of environmental modification is uh, day by day is uh, going to larger. And however, also in terrestrial and marine protected areas, you see that we could build uh, some uh, protected areas more in the sea or ocean area. But however, in the uh, surface area that is land surface area the uh, protected areas is increasing very uh, not so high but uh, recently after um, 2000 uh, uh, i mean the last uh, one or two decades we could uh, build some more pro protected areas because the people and the state the country is realizing why we need the protected areas however the second, the second challenge is global change and the changes effects. Uh, the main changes is the climate sense. We have also the change in human and other aspects, but the overall changes in affecting in global climate and that is global climate is frequently changing. And uh, you know, the, uh, only the several uh, few countries are responsible for the uh, carbon emission or uh, global warming, but suffering many, many countries like Bangladesh is the zero uh, responsible, zero responsible for climate change, but uh, they are suffering. They are the top uh, most vulnerable country due to climate change. <clears throat> the global changes are uh, various types like shifting climate, frequent hazards and disasters, sea level rise in undulation of land, uh, inundation of island, aspiring low-lying areas, melting of mountain glacier, transformation of perennial streams, which uh, combinedly affecting on threat from drought, flooding, rains, incident, wildfire, bank eruption, and storm surges. However, the vegetation and their habitats and also the species and flora fauna is uh, destroying. However, the challenges in uh, a climate that have increasing also in human impact that is increasing human population increasing demands enhancing interstitialization globalized commercial and instant communication which combinedly affecting on natural habitats and impacts on our surface that's why the habitat destruction and pieces perennial move people on earth and creating the pollution in atmosphere creeks, river erosion, estuary, ocean destroying, and many types. <clears throat> However, the uh, here have the changes uh, uh, 
um, it, it deterred a single speaker in the world. And the overall, the global group has changed by 4.89%. <clears throat> However, challenges in establishing a new protected areas, it's very uh, important and if we build a new protected areas, there have several challenges. That's why in 2014, we only have 15.4% uh, uh, areas areas uh, under the protected areas and 3.4% of marine environment are under officially recognized in protected areas, but uh, it's need to uh, increase more and more higher. However, here have the different approaches uh, in landscape protected for new establishing landscape for protection. <clears throat> Therefore, challenges in effective governance and management. This is very much important because every government, every state, they want the ecosystem sustainability as well as they want the protected areas, but they have many, many plan and policy, but no implementation, no management. That's the main problem. If the government and the state government have the strict rules uh, for protecting the environment, then uh, and they can apply or uh, uh, give a proper management, then uh, it would be uh, effective. However, effective governance is mostly uh, um, problematic in the developing and underdeveloped country. And uh, like adaptive and responsive organization and communities, freedom to manage local professional managers, abilities within established statutory, comparative planet guidelines, community input and guidance, those uh, many things uh, they can include and they can uh, get a effective governance and management. <clears throat> However, here have a, uh, a, a diagram for um, well-managed uh, any effective government manage, management for protected areas. Therefore, uh, the multi-bucket challenges, those challenges are several types of challenges. They can be uh, 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 directly effect to the environment uh, in combinedly or uh, directly or indirectly and many ways, the future protected areas, how we could uh, build. In future, we have to, we, uh, we would face many more challenges like climate change, water stress, and food security, energy production, and biodiversity. Those all are combination. There have more more challenges coming. <clears throat> However, uh, I'm representing some critical research and evolution, and there is uh, no other option of research and research than research. No other option to uh, protect our environment. Uh, and to build a, a protected areas, we have to more and more research. Uh, here I am presenting just a uh, few research uh, uh, for protecting areas. Uh, this is this one web paper. Mm. <coughs> uh, uh, the management strategies for sustainable forest biodiversity and con uh, conservation in protected areas in, in Bangladesh. This is a Bhawal National Park, that is one of the protected areas in Bangladesh, where there are uh, the Shal forest and also some tribal people, and those areas are, are protecting like this. And critical research evaluation, uh, therefore, the second is uh, assessing inconsistency in global land cover products and synthesis of studies on land use and land cover dynamics. That is the uh, Global uh, proper land use map is very much necessary for uh, the uh, future uh, protected area build up or ecosystem sustainability. Then it must need the uh, more and more um, uh, study on land cover dynamics and <clears throat> and or, or based on those, they will uh, it could uh, build the uh, proper way 
to make a protected area. So however, here uh, the uh, in inconsistency in global land cover than the all other land cover, how they are changing. And here have the uh, protected uh, multiple combination of land cover here. <clears throat> However, the uh, geospatial monitoring of land surface temperature effect and vegetation dynamics, which is very much uh, uh, a recent phenomena where, where we could uh, get uh, more information about the environment, like uh, the recent um, hot topic, the land surface temperature is very much important for the plant growth and uh, thereafter the relationship between the land surface temperature and vegetation. <clears throat> In this study, uh, they have, have found uh, some different results, like the um, normally the uh, uh, if land surface temperature increase, then the vegetation surface will decrease. That is, they are uh, conversely correlated. But in this research, they found uh, the author found that uh, they have the converse relation. That is, land surface temperature increasing and also vegetation increasing. And here we found the protected areas, vegetation cover is decreasing, but in the uh, other areas, vegetation cover is increasing. It's alarming. That is the effective government is uh, lacking here. And that's why they cannot uh, protect, but they could award the people. And that's why the outside uh, vegetation is increasing. However, the critical research uh, and uh, 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 can evaluate the spatial and temporal research. We need more and more temporal research. Then uh, we need to evaluation of uh, several surface dynamics like land surface, temperature, uh, vegetation index, then this, uh, and uh, other surface uh, changing water index, build up index. We need to evaluate more and more. Uh, we have to target some areas or target some species, then we have to research. Uh, we have a proper planning and who is to cover all the areas. And we have to uh, initiate the plan. If we get the plan, then we have to initiate to implement and that for the implementation and have a proper management. <clears throat> that could give it, uh, the uh, total evaluation and how were the new protected areas. And that's all. Uh, thank you so much for uh, giving me the opportunity. And um, thank you all. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Sahidul Islam. Uh, I think that was a really good presentation. He set the context very well by you know explaining the IUC and protected areas, the classification of all the six categories and you know detailing them very well. And also the different challenges, the global status and the spatial uh, delineation, the global changes and the changes effects. And also the, you know, you shared the, uh, the specific research from the Bhawal National Park that was really good to hear. And I think these kind of examples and these kind of research can be replicated in other areas by other scientists as well. So thank you and stay